Today I show you how to get your landscape to the next level with tileable textures. This very powerful shader works with as little as one texture, but there is almost no repetition visible to the player. So let's get started. So let's hop right into it. As you can see, that's my little terrain, ignore the shiny part. But if we fly over it, we can see texture repetition. That's normal, even if I'm using um, a tileable texture. This one over here, normal Quixel Megascans texture. At some point, you will see the tiling. Um, that's normal. There isn't much you can do about it. That's how tileable textures work. In this case, it's this little white, I guess, leaf or dot or... No, it's, it's a leaf. So that looks really annoying and yeah, just not good. But there is a way to fix this. Well, there are multiple ways. You could do a vertex paint. You can mix multiple textures. But if for some reason you only want to use one texture, you could blend it with noise and um, some offsets. And I'll show you how you can do this. So let's switch the material. And right now we have the same material. But if we zoom out, let me fly up a little bit. You can see all these dark patches and brighter patches. And that's basically some noise which will help us blend the texture. If you look really closely, you still can see some tiling, but if we are at this height and play our game, it's really hard to see. And I show you how you can set up a shader like this. So here we can control everything. It's distance based if you want it to, you don't have to. But if I enter like a 1000 here, let's search for a spot like so. And let's maybe make it 100. So if you change the numbers, you can see at the little witch here, the blending is working. And here you can change the far amount, the tiling. You can also just change the micro tiling. So the micro tiling is this little green stuff here. Let's put it on one or let's put it on 0 0.01 to make it really big. Obviously <laughs> it's a little bit too big. And you have a lot of other stuff to play around with. So you can change the color, let's put it on red. And if we now look in the distance, everything in the distance will be tinted red. Let's revert this. We can also obviously change the color of the micro detail itself. Let's make it blue. And now we have some blue micro variation. So that's a really powerful shader. And uh, let's open the shader. I'll show you how to construct it. It looks complicated. But as always, I give you the shader in the description. You just need to copy paste it, change the textures, and then you can use it. So here we have the shader. It's basically macro variation, some near, um, some near distance, some color variation in it, some far distance. And then we have the pixel offsets, which is going into a lerp and this lerp is combining the far and near and in the end everything will end up in a multiply which will go into the base color. Obviously you can use this with more than one texture. You will need to rearrange it a little bit and change some values but this will work no problem. So here we have the tiling, texture coordinates and this is the macro variation I'm using for uh, for the offset that texture is included in unreal engine you can use everything you want you just need a really random looking texture because in the end we want something if we zoom out again real quick we want something to break up the tiling and the more random this is the better it works so here we have our texture in different sizes or in different scales this will go into the noise contrast so you can change the contrast if you want. If we change the contrast in the shader. So if we change the contrast to 0.01, obviously it's, it's really contrasty, which can look good if you want it. But I would put mine to 0.5 or maybe 0.6 or 0.7 to just give it some really slight change, maybe 0.85, maybe something like this. And that's where you can control the contrast from the noise if needed. So let's go back in the shader. That's the first thing you need. This will be multiplied with the, um, with the near and far distance control. And here we have the micro tiling. So you have your albedo texture, 
a tint texture, so that's the one we can change here, which will go into the lerp. Here we have color variation, so a different color to have some wake up. Then that's the blend node, which is using the same macro variation. And under far, we have our albedo again, same for here. And we also have the tint and the variation tint. And again, the blend for the um, for the offset, or not for the offset, for the, for the variation. Here we have the macro texture again. And then we have the distance control. So at which point the texture blend will appear or disappear. And that gets lerped together. So multiply, multiply, and the red channel into a lerp. Same here. And both lerps go into another lerp. And this one goes into a multiply or where we feed the lerp from the noise contrast in. And when everything is lerped and multiplied together, we put it in the base color. Here I have the normal map and the ORDB map. Um, so occlusion, roughness and displacement, which is set up like this. And that's the whole shader. So I give it to you. You just need to, let me show it how it works. You just need it and then you copy the code, open the uh, shader graph, control V, and there you will have your shader. You just need to change the uh, albedo texture, the normal and the ORDP map, and then you can use it because this one doesn't need to be changed if you're using starter content. This is included in your engine. So this shader will give you to a little bit more realistic look. I would suggest use more than one texture, use two or three. Normally you get the best blend with about three textures. Two will work. I mean, even one works as you can see. And if you want some nice looking to wait, like not this hand painted stuff, maybe some proper realistic height map you can just import into Unreal Engine and get some really nice looking to wait. You really should check out this video where I show you how you can download and import height maps into Unreal Engine to have some really good base for your to wait.